Spring is fully sprung in Wisconsin. All the green is just pouring out. Pollinators are pollinating. Spiders taking their meals. Flower petals scattered over everything. And the story of life unfolding everywhere. And one of the woodland's sweetest treasures becoming available for all. My friends, I would like to introduce you to sweet root. I'm going to use that term because it's one that one of, for me, the most respected uh, foragers in North America uses, Samuel Thayer. And this groups a number of different plants that are all in the same genus together. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to tell apart, but all of them are good edibles. And one of them in particular is so delicious that our girls seek it out this time of year and we do too. Not only is it amazing to just nibble it off the side of the trail, but think of using it as a flavoring for ice creams, for liqueurs, for a cake, pie. Now one thing you must like, anise or black licorice flavor to enjoy this. But if you want a treat that's black licorice and sweet at the same time, and comes straight from nature, here's how to find this secret plant. This term sweet root covers a number of plants that look really, really similar. So look at this and compare it to this. At first glance, you have the same plant. But let's look a little more closely. This is a typical sweet root you would find in the forest. And I'm looking at these leaves, they're almost fern-like right? And compound in nature and look at those teeth and look at the furry furriness on those stems. Further down that furriness disappears and down at the bottom these sheaths that go around the stems are going to be common to all the sweet roots. Get up close with those flowers. And hopefully you're going to have an idea of what sweet root looks like just from that. Got to take a break here and look at what's going on on these Virginia water leaf leaves. Something very special you may notice. Let's get in a little closer. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And quite a prey that she has gotten for herself. As you're looking for plants that match the sweet root description, you might come across this one. And this one looks slightly different. If we get up close, we're missing the furriness on the stems. But as we move down the stem, it starts to take on a little bit of a fur. Look at that. So it does the opposite thing of some of the other sweet roots. When I first learned this plant, I had heard about eating the leaves. People eat the leaves and love them. They have that wonderful flavor. But there is something way more delicious than the leaves. That is right here. Look at those super long styles. So that's the female part of the plant. It looks like two kind of white antenna coming up from each one. There's one right there that I'm touching over and over again with my finger. Those long styles. And those are going to tell you, along with that lack of fur on the top, but fur on the bottom, and this leaf structure, that you have found a very special plant. These flowers are an amazing treat. They are so full of that delicious sweet anise flavor. You pick yourself a bunch, eat it, and unbelievable. But wait, there's more. <laughs> because after those flower, then they start to fruit. Here are those fruits emerging. These are going to turn into little stickers that are going to get on our clothes and be less than pleasant, which is just another reason to eat them. Because if you think the flowers are amazing, these little young fruits are even more amazing. Again, we just pick them off and eat right there or take them home for a flavoring. 
It is so good. Our girls cannot get enough of these. In fact, I'm out here today so that I can harvest a whole bunch and we're going to do something with them. We're not quite sure what. So this is an introduction to sweet root. Here's one of the common varieties you'll find, but this one is the real treasure. Eat the leaves, munch the stems. The flowers are exquisite and those little fruits. Wow. Now remember, like all wild edible plants, there's going to be variation by region. There's going to be variation by soil and even individual plants. So if you try one and it doesn't knock your socks off, try another one. If you love that anise flavor, you love wild foods, you love sweet things, and you get a good one, I promise you are going to love it. And as I mentioned, all these other sweet root also have decent flavored leaves, decent flavored flowers, decent flavored fruit, but none are quite like this beauty. Let me know if you've tried this beauty and I'm guessing most of you haven't. It's really not a well-known one, the plant in general, but especially that secret treat. So if you tried it, I'd love to hear. And if you find it in the woods, whew, tell me about it and tell me if you enjoyed it. All right, love to you all. I'll talk with you in the comments.